So 2024, we know that the total solar eclipse, the sun turning black, is April 8th, 2024. And that is the eclipse that crosses and makes an X with a total solar eclipse seven years prior, 2017, which happens to be the Revelation 12 sign year also. Now, hold that thought. Now, we know on the sixth seal that the sun turns black first, and then the moon turns to blood. Well, <laughs> the next lunar eclipse after the sun turns black is March 14th, 2025. Now, there are a whole bunch of eclipses that are lunar that are not total lunar eclipses. Do you know when the last lunar eclipse was that was a total lunar eclipse? It would be in 2022, November 8th. You see, there was this gap of time from 2022, November 8th, all the way to March 14th, 2025, where there were no total lunar eclipses. Do you know that that is not normal? There is, there is usually total lunar eclipses every year <coughs> or almost every year but there's that three again so you have a three-year gap see these are all patterns threes and sevens god uses the threes and sevens and anybody who reads the bible and studies it knows that 3773 i've done lots of videos about 3773 so from 2022 to 2025 the first total lunar eclipse happens to come right after when? The total solar eclipse, April 8, 2024. <laughs> and how perfect is it because the total lunar, the sun, the moon turning to blood, in the sixth seal happens after the sun turns black. Well, here you go. 2024, the sun turns dark total solar eclipse not a partial and then after that 2025 the lunar total eclipse happens and the moon turns to blood march 14th now you know what the weird and crazy thing is about the date of march 14th two things is that the hebrew new year also starts in march and the hebrew new year is called nisan one which is in march and it happens to be march 30th so the total lunar eclipse and the total solar eclipse, but more so the lunar, happens right before the Hebrew New Year. And the Bible says, before the great and terrible day of the Lord, the sun turns black and the moon turns to blood. Hello. Hello. Now, the last part to this pattern is that March just happens to be, guess what? The month... Of the God of War. The God of War. Well, wouldn't you know, if they were going into the great and terrible day of the Lord, the earth, because the rapture is going to happen sometime before the great and terrible day of the Lord, well, there would be war. And wouldn't you know, the Hebrew New Year starts in the month of the God of War, and there's a total lunar eclipse right before the new year starts, in the month of war. <laughs> and like I said, <laughs> like I said, 2025 is 500 because 20 times 25, that's another key to all this. 20 times 25 is 500, 500 in the Greek is Antichrist, and 500 in the Hebrew is God ascends. Just like I said in this video, that's symbolic of the church going up we're caught up in the cloud and then israel resumes 42 months just like the book of exodus exodus means exit and in the book of exodus you see the cloud going up off of the tabernacle symbolic of the church so israel can continue on their journey <laughs> the rapture is in the sixth seal and it's in 2024 or 2025 and guess who comes into office right in between these two eclipses. But have you ever asked God for forgiveness? <laughs>
I'm not sure I have. I just go and try and do a better job from there. I don't think so. Daniel chapter 12, verse 12, which is actually 144 if you multiply it, or if you add it, it's 24, get it, 2024, says this, Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. Blessed is he who comes to the thirteen hundred and thirty five days. If you start from May twenty sixth, twenty twenty one, which was a super blood moon, the first total lunar eclipse for two years visible across the Pacific. And you do a count of 1,335 days. You come to January 20th, 2025. The next presidential inauguration. And guess who is coming back? The last Trump. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Did I mention that Trump was actually born on a blood moon? Not just any blood moon, but he was born on a Sorrows blood moon set. Sorrows. Think about it. The beginning of Sorrows at the last Trump. Remember what a blood moon is to Israel. Trouble. Also remember what the moon and the sun are there for. They are there for signs, seasons, days, and years. Genesis chapter 1 verses 14 through 17, the King James Bible. Well, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 9 here says that the Antichrist, the man of sin, comes with all power, signs, and lying wonders. Trump is coming in with the sign. This Reference to a sign the Antichrist comes with signs. That's the moon. That's the blood moons that he was born on and that he's coming in on. And another amazing thing about this is that it is all happening in the last Shemitah. A Shemitah is a seven year cycle having to do with the Hebrew calendar from 2022 to 2029 again the actual 2023 year starts this month in march so we're still right on the cusp of this cycle but 2024 2025 is where x marks the spot right in the middle of these last seven years totally crazy because we know in the book of revelation that the antichrist gets 42 months so you start it from about 2024 2025 42 months takes you to 2028 2029 the last the end the last half of this seven year shemitah cycle and this also turns out to be the end of the six thousand year period that were pro that was prophesied in genesis chapter 6 verse 3 when god said that his spirit shall not always strive with man for his year shall be 120 he was talking about jubilees there. A jubilee is 50 years. 120 jubilees is a 6,000 year period. And that would be from the fall of Adam to the return of Jesus, 2029. Now, six days also is shown in the days of creation. And we know that a thousand years is as a day with the Lord. So that was a type and shadow. The six days of creation, symbolic of the 6,000 years. That was prophesied in Genesis chapter 6 verse 3. Six is the number of man. And after the 6,000th year, we are going into the 7,000th year, the millennium reign of Jesus Christ on earth for a thousand years. And seven is the number of divine completion. 
It's all adding up, man. Everything is converging into this last seven years. And actually, I've done videos on how the last 14 years there are things going on. But now we're heading into the last seven. Brock and I were raised with so many of the same values. Like, you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond, that you do what you say you're going to do. My parents impressed on me the values that you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond and you do what you say and keep your promise. That you treat people with dignity and respect even if you don't know them and even if you don't agree with them. That you treat people with respect. They thought and showed me values and morals in their daily life. That is a lesson that I continue to pass along to our son. And we need to pass those lessons on to the many generations to follow. And Barack and I set out to build lives guided by these values and to pass them on to the next generation because we want our children and all children in this nation to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. Because... Because we want our children in this nation to know that the only limit to your achievements is the strength of your dreams and your willingness to work for them. They're buying it. They're buying it. There's a reason why people are blind, folks. And that is because, by and large, the churches are controlled by the same deniers of Jesus Christ as well. The churches are a key component of creating an epidemic of blindness, spiritual blindness, folks. That's why people fall for this stuff.